So high school, Navy. So tell us that. What what, what was that all about? So um, it, when I joined the Navy, uh, this is this is a really big part of of the rest of my life of how it kind of set myself up for the for the next twenty year twenty yeah years, yeah right? absolutely we'd love to hear it. Um, so I was uh, boot camp. I did great. I'm good at, good at being told what to do, and I I was really good at that. And then uh, I went to A school in Millington, Tennessee. Mm-hmm. And I had um, my superior, uh, right when I got there, asked if I wanted to per- perform sexual activities with him. Mm. And here I am, young guy, 18 years old, you know what I mean? Um, and it, it uh, wouldn't stop. And uh, the day before graduation, I graduated I'm, uh, from ABF school. And um, I got beat up by three guys. And just like almost, I couldn't breathe. Black eye, held down on the ground. Uh, if it wasn't for this first class petty officer that broke it up, I don't even know his name. I don't know. He broke it up, and uh, I graduated. And then they f- put me on an airplane and landed me on the USS Carl Vincent out at sea. Mm. So on a mail jet, and then uh, from there, being in the military on a boat with five thousand guys with that experience just had happened. So I, I, I want to kind of rewind just a little bit and just let, or fast forward and let you know that um, the last year and a half that I've lived at the Haven House, I've gone through <clears throat> hundreds of hours of therapy, figuring out for the first time in my life, like I know what happened before I was like, I didn't know what happened. And I'll explain that <clears throat> as, <clears throat> as we go on in this, this, uh, this testimony, I can explain kind of what, how it how I see it, that it happened, or my truth. Mm-hmm. And so um, when I get on the ship, um, now I'm on the ship, and I had uh, not even three weeks in, I had some, um, I had some complications um, with my body, and I had an operation out at sea. And then I was put on convalescent leave, and I was on crutches, and... Um, that I think that whole going through therapy, that whole experience, looking at it now, back then, I started to get in trouble. I started to do things because I didn't want to be in the Navy and I didn't know how to tell anybody that, hey, this had happened to me. It was like a don't ask, don't tell policy. I'm a, I'm a man. I'm not telling another man that, a, that they wanted to do these things with me. And, um, you know, you. I guess the right thing would have would have been to tell my command an officer above him to use my chain of command, right? But I didn't know. And so I did things to get I didn't want to be in in the military anymore. And I come from a my dad, my grandpa, my dad Vietnam vet, my grandfather a Korean vet, um all navy and um so I did things. I spent 3 a little over three years, almost three and a half years uh, in the military, getting in trouble, doing time in military penitentiaries. The, they call them brigs. I did Treasure Island and consulted, consolidated Brig Miramar. Um, they walked me through the airport shackles around my waist and my hand around with a guard on each side. Wow. And um, I, did a, I went to a special court martial. Um, when I got out, I just forgot about it. I was like, no, you know, I just went on with my, li- with my life and <clears throat> I met my, um, my kid's mother. And uh, I have three daughters with her and I lived in Santa Cruz. I went to work for my dad's construction company and worked. Um, and uh, this is where the drugs really got increasingly like um i started going to the doctor's office because i work construction so i said my back hurts right yeah and then i liked taking them i'm like oh that feels good no more pain and i was so i'm a um a product of that whole oxycontin pushing they were pushing oxycontins giving me so so much of that stuff and um then they took them away from me. And then I was sick. 
and I didn't know what to do. And so I started using heroin. And um, so I'm like 20, 20, my late 20s, early, mid to late 20s, and I started um, smoking it and then shooting it. And then um, next thing you know, I'm just a, an IV user. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it comes along with that. I mean, just uh, the family just blew up. Right. The kids were put in foster care. They were taking CPS. Yeah. I put myself in situations to get to get drugs where I was stabbed, shot at, um, guns pointed to my head. And uh, I'm still here. I got um, one year, four months, and 22 days today. Awesome. I have to look on my... <laughs> On my app, but I'm close. I'm right there. I'm getting. That's awesome, bro. Yeah, that's awesome. 